Hey, what's going on everybody? So listen, this is going to be part three of my forex journey, all right? In the previous, um, I guess in part two, I explained to you guys how I, you know, how I found my passion for real estate, um, you know, since I was already in construction, you know, how that sort of shaped and molded me into this, I'll say, um, real estate fanatic, if you will. Um, that was part two. I'm going to, I'm going to explain to you guys some of the things that I had to endure um, after coming to this this place where I was being laid off here and there. All right, now I want you guys to know this. I probably lost, probably was laid up maybe three or four times. Okay, um, so my bills they started to fall behind, and of course, you know I I had everything that any typical. Um, you know, young adult had. You know, I had my own apartment. I, of course, I, I bought my own groceries. I, I had my own vehicle. Paid car insurance. You know, I had all the stuff that any normal person, any working class individual would have. And I was very responsible. But unfortunately, um, in in my field, like I said, there was job scarcity. So, of course, not having the money to pay for things, what happened? My credit took a hit. Yes, my credit took a hit. Um, not not being able to pay for the um, you know my bills and pay for certain things. I had to find ways to make a way. I I would, I would do these payday loans. I would um, take some of my my um, I found myself pawning some electronics. I would even take my electronics and and they had some some company where you can you can basically um, you can take the serial number, take it to them, and they'll they'll give you so much money for it, and then you buy it back, and they you know they'll charge you money for it. It's like you're they're buying it from you, they're paying you, but you some little weird way they had it, but it was a way for me to, to stay afloat. So I found myself doing these payday loans and paying this astronomically high um, interest rate on it. It's, it was just crazy, you know, stuff that I think people should stay away from. But hey. And I had to do what I had to do. Um, of course, along the way, uh, my credit took a hit. Like I said, um, I became very anxious. You know, I mean, like, you know, listen, I have to survive. Luckily, I never had to go out there and do anything illegal. But um, I found myself not having. Um, of course, at some point, I fell into depression because you know you're used to having certain things and and now you you're not able to have all these things you know your quality of life is going down so um, credit getting shot um, can't pay my bills of course credit is a result of that my dad gave me a couple thousand dollars to help me with bills and that was just that was just enough to scratch the surface, you know, just to take care of things, just for me to sort of say, whew, man, you know, I'm so glad that that uh, he gave me that because I, I sort of had a little bit of breathing room. Um, what had happened was eventually I got that eviction notice, all right? And that's when things started to get really uncomfortable. Um, I would get a job here and then get laid off and things became really uncomfortable um, so you know during this time you know going through depression um, I don't have a lot of money um, and you know mentally it was it was taking its toll on me and I mean it was it was really beating me up so you know that was just a very dark time in my life very dark time in my life um, I'm gonna explain more about this even deeper in our next video alright you guys stay tuned